Hello, my name is Philip Benz. I'm from Buckmaster Office Solutions. Today I wanted to show a quick video on how to use the scan to folder configuration tool. Um, this tool is great for people that aren't very familiar with setting up um, Windows file sharing and network sharing in general. So it's a very straightforward way to enable win Windows file sharing and scan to folder on your computer from a Rico machine. I'm going to be including a link to this um, location to download the tool, um, but right now I'm already on the page. Basically, you'd scroll down and click on the download button here on the bottom of the screen. So a link to this will be in the description of the video. Um, I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to go to the actual download folder. And we're going to run this file that it downloaded. Let's click on that. It brings us up to this little setup tool. Click Next. Click Install. And now it's going to actually install the, the folder on the computer. Wait till that finishes. It will give you an option to display the README if you'd like to display that. I'm going to uncheck that and hit Complete. You can see it actually created this Rico folder on the desktop. If we double click on that, it'll show the actual folder contents. It actually does have an easy setup guide um, PDF in here that you feel free to take a look at. It will walk you through most of the steps we're about to go through. When we're ready to run it, we just run this .exe file. Double click on it. Once this screen comes up, you'll have two options. You have register destination and troubleshoot and fix the destination. Um, if you've already registered a destination before and it stopped working, that troubleshoot and fix the destination is a great key to getting that fixed for you. For now, we're just going to do the register destination. Click Next. Here we have options as to where do we want to store the location. Um, by default, it's going to put it on the desktop. I'm just going to leave it at the standard default. And we're going to do scan test as far as the folder name. So this is what it's going to create a folder on your desktop labeled as. Click Next. Here it's looking for a username and password. Basically, the copier needs permissions to write to your computer's folder that you're creating. Um, typically, in a basic setup, we just use the standard logged in username and password um, of whoever's currently logged in the system and, and uses the machine. So this would be your valid username and password to your computer. Um, we can type that in. If you have an IT team, you may want to check with them to see if they have a, a username and password they would like to be used for this purpose. But it does need to be a valid username and password that has permissions to the folder. Click Next. Here it's looking for a destination. We can call this um, scan test again. So this is essentially what's going to show up on the copier itself as the scan location. If you have multiple people that are going to be scanning to the, from the copier to their own computers, you may want to get very specific about this and include your name or potentially the location of the scans um, in the office. But for now, I'm just creating a, a dummy test um, folder. So we're just going to call it scan test. Here it's going to also ask us for the device from the list. If we had registered devices before, it would show up here. Otherwise, we just click on enter the device's IP address. From here, it actually gives us a link that we can pull up and view um, instructions on how to determine the IP address. If you're not familiar with what your IP address is, it gives you step-by-step -step information on how to obtain that from the device itself. Since I know what it is, I'm just going to type it in here. Hit search. It pulls up the make and model of the machine. We hit next. Here it's going to give us a confirmation of our settings. If everything looks OK, just hit execute. At this point, it's actually going to go through and try to register the device, um, create the folder on your computer for the scanning purposes, set all the permissions, as well as the sharing so that it has access for that. Um, it does take a minute or two, so have some patience here. Don't just close the window thinking it's not doing anything. Give it some time, and it will start giving you some status indicators, indicators that will give you an idea of where it's at. So it's connecting to the device.
It's processing the registration. It's reading. It's getting close there. At this point, uh, status will show up as complete here, and it'll show you confirm your information that you've programmed on the machine. Um, so the destination name, scan test. Now your copier will show you a folder labeled as scan test as a scan destination. And if you scan to that, it's actually going to go to your desktop in that same folder that was created. That's um, scan to folder configuration tool in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our office. Um, thank you for watching the video. We plan on making many more to come, so feel free to 